hello everybody in this video I will uh, show you how to retrieve and rescue uh, configuration file from pfSense uh, if you don't know what pfSense is uh, this is beyond the scope of this video I assume that you are using pfSense in a production environment and pfSense has stopped working uh, via the uh, web graphical interface and uh, also stopped doing its job as a router and firewall and now uh, I assume that you need to reinstall a new version of pfSense uh, so uh, you need to keep your old configuration and restore it once you have uh, finished your new reinstall so this is uh, how to uh, restore ha uh, sorry how to retrieve the configuration file from the uh, system that is not working anymore uh, first thing you need a USB drive plug it to PFSense and then power on the computer when you reach uh, this uh, screen uh, choose number two choose uh, select number two which is a single mode user single user mode and then wait when you reach this point hit enter now you need uh, to uh, mount the file system as read and write uh, because uh, right now it's only uh, it's read only so you can do some uh, required modifications uh, so what you do is m o u n t mount and then uh, dash o and then r w and then uh, slash forward slash enter now you have full access to your uh, system now what we need to do is uh, format and prepare the um, USB drive to do so we first need to know what what's the name of the USB drive now uh, to know this we do ls and then dev uh, uh, USB drives in uh, uh, FreeBSD systems usually start with DA so if you look look uh, to the second column from the left uh, second row you will notice DA0 this is the USB drive now we need to prepare the, the USB drive first we do DD and then IF equals div and then zero and then OF equals div and the USB itself DA zero and then BS equals two M and then count equals zero and then hit enter uh, sorry count should be one yeah now it's correct uh, second thing to do is do f disk to partition the hard drive f disk and then i and then div and then the USB itself DA0 and then enter no too many typos this time sorry I this is I not one and then 
uh, hit enter here and then enter and then enter 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 uh, enter and then should we write yes choose yes and hit enter now format the USB like so new FS underscore and miss those and then dash capital F uh, use 32 for larger USB drives but smaller ones use 16 and then the USB drive itself dev and then DA not the USB sorry the partition that we have just created should be S1 S1 yeah and then hit enter now formatting now we need to create a mount point for the USB so let's make a directory mkdr dir and then let's call it r from rescue for example you can call it whatever you want and then USB now mount, mount point is created let's mount the USB mount and uh, we need to do ms those file system and then uh, the USB dev the, the USB partition S1 and mount it to our USB now it's mounted we can use it now we need to copy the configuration file configuration file is located in uh, let's do CP copy it is in uh, the con conf directory it's called config xml we need to copy it to the new usb which is r and hit enter now if we if we do an ls to the usb r underscore the file should be there now it is in the USB it is rescued we must unmount the USB first U M O U N T and then uh, D E zero uh, is one mount the part uh, rem uh, unmount the partition uh, to save the data and that's it now you have the configuration file on the USB what you need to do is unplug the USB and use it on a new system and uh, restore your uh, configuration data and that should be enough thank you very much and goodbye